Hey guys, it's Robin, and welcome to the Science of Self-Care. Today we're going to be talking about facial oils, and I hope this video gives you a bit more confidence when choosing an oil for your own face, as well as reading ingredient lists to cosmetic products or skincare products. By considering three characteristics, you can find oils that will work really well for your skin type. So the three things that I consider when researching facial oils are the linoleic acid content of the oil, the comedogenic rating of the oil, and lastly, the occlusivity of the plant oil. These might sound like crazy dermatological terms, but they're all really easy to understand and moreover easy to Google. So once you have a better idea of what exactly you, you should be looking for for your skin type, you'll easily be able to find plenty of oils that will work well for your skin. So let's get started. The first characteristic is the linoleic acid content, and this is something that is especially relevant for those of us with oily and acne prone skin. Linoleic acid is an omega-6 fatty acid that our own body uses to produce sebum, our own natural oil on our skin. However, if we're low on linoleic acid, our body will start to use oleic acid to produce sebum, and oleic acid is an omega-9 fatty acid that is much thicker and will actually end up clogging your own pores. So being deficient in linoleic acid can actually be a cause of acne and skin congestion. I have oily skin that gets easily congested. Adding oils that are high in linoleic acid really helps to clarify my pores. Some of these oils are even really cheap and easy to find, so here I have a list of oils that are high in linoleic acid. The second characteristic to consider is the comedogenic rating, and this is a very simple rating scale from 0 to 5 that tells us how likely an oil is to break us out and clog our pores, 0 being not at all likely, 5 being almost certain that this product will congest our skin. Anything with a rating of 2 or lower is considered to be a low comedogenic product. If you have really, really sensitive skin, you might want to consider using only products with a rating of 0. I use evening primrose oil regularly, which has a rating of 2 that hasn't caused any issues with my skin. So it's a bit of playing around, but if you want to be absolutely certain, then go for products with a comedogenic rating of 0. And there are still plenty of wonderful plant oils that have a rating of 0. Here's a list of a few. The third characteristic I would consider is the occlusivity of an oil. So the occlusivity of an oil tells us how much of a barrier the oil will create on our skin that will help trap water so that our skin doesn't become dehydrated. So highly occlusive oils reduce transepidermal water loss, which is a problem for those of us with dehydrated skin, but also aging and mature skin. One thing to keep in mind, though, is that an occlusive ingredient itself is not hydrating in that it doesn't offer any moisture or water to the skin. That you have to do with humectant ingredients, which are ingredients that attract water from the air and hold on. So some common ingredients that have humectant properties are glycerin, hyaluronic acid, honey. If you first put these sorts of ingredients on your skin and they attract and hold on to water, and then you add an occlusive uh, oil that's going to be really thick and create a strong barrier that traps that water in, that is an ideal situation for dehydrated skin. However, the one caveat with occlusivity is that often very occlusive oils are high in oleic acid, and this is again not good for those with acne prone and oily skin, so this third characteristic is more relevant if dehydration is your main concern. Using these characteristics, I was able to find a very cheap and affordable oil for myself. It's this vitamin E oil by Jason, and I think it cost me seven dollars, and the first two oil ingredients are safflower oil and sunflower oil, and these are both very cheap oils. I would normally if I wasn't thinking about the chemistry behind it, overlook this product because it seems like a very cheap product with filler oils, but actually both safflower oil and sunflower oil are very high in linoleic acid and have a comedogenic rating of zero. I was very confident in choosing this product that it was not only not going to break me out, but it was even going to offer my skin linoleic acid, which can help clear your pores and reduce heavy oil production, and that's exactly what it's done 
It's been wonderful for my skin and it cost me $7. Another tip uh, when choosing oils is to also look in the supplement section. Here I have some evening primrose oil that's meant to be consumed orally, so it comes in little capsules. Each of these capsules probably contains enough oil for four uses and I will just poke a little hole in a capsule and then you have a perfect way to travel with facial oils and it will also keep your oils from oxidizing so by only opening each each capsule once every four uses uh, you can really preserve the shelf life of your facial oils so yeah I hope that this video was useful to you and that you have a bit more confidence in choosing an oil for yourself again the first characteristic is the most relevant for those of us with oily acne prone skin the second is relevant for people with especially sensitive skin, and the third is going to be relevant for those of us with dehydrated skin. So I hope this was useful. I also hope this maybe saves you some time and money and experimentation on your skin. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next time.